Welcome back to our series on how to tie ties. Today I'm going to show you how to tie the half Windsor knot. First of all, the term half Windsor is kind of off because it doesn't have anything to do with the regular Windsor knot. In terms of size, it's about halfway between the four in hand knot and the full Windsor knot, but about, you know, 75% the size of a full Windsor knot. So it's not even half the size of the Windsor knot. As you can see, I'm wearing the half Windsor knot here right now with a green linen wool blend tie from Fort Belvedere, which is on the thinner side. It is a symmetrical knot and a, I created a dimple. It's also slightly smaller than the full Windsor knot with the same tie. Okay, here is how you tie it. To start, you have the slim end in your right hand and the wide end in your left hand. Slim end should be about a hand and a half above your waistband. The wide end goes to the right over the slim end and back to the side it was originally at. Now you take this end, you bring the tie up and you go through this hole. And you go to the opposite side, so you have it back into your right. Then you bring it back over to the left and front, pull it down and then up. And you can see a knot is forming. Now the wide end goes through the knot. And if you want a dimple, now is the time to pinch. You can see, knots forming. So if you like it, you pull on a slim end, pull it up. Make sure it's the way you like it. And pull down here underneath the knot and pinch, pinch here to form the knot you like. And then pull it up. Voila! The half Windsor knot. At the sides of this tie knot, you obviously do not want to wear with a tab collar or any collar bars or pins. Um, I would recommend you wear a cutaway collar, a spread collar, maybe a medium spread, only if you have a thin tie. Um, if you have a thick tie, the half Windsor can be rather daring. It's not going to be as big as a full Windsor knot with a thick tie, but uh, here is what it looks like. Voila! The half Windsor knot with a thick tie. As you can see, this is a really thick silk jacker tie by Fort Belvedere. And uh, the knot is almost bigger than a full Windsor with a thinner tie. So if you have a thicker tie and you like the look of the Windsor knot, go down to the half Windsor um, to just balance the size of the knot with the thickness of the tie. It seems like the half Windsor knot is often favored by shorter men who desperately try to create a big knot so their tie ends up shorter. Now, this is not the best way to do it because shorter men oftentimes have smaller heads so a bigger tie knot looks not proportional and it looks awkward. If you're short, what you should do is get a short tie so you can tie a smaller knot that suits your height and suits your body and simply looks much better on you. If you want a shorter tie, please check out our selection at Fort Belvedere where we offer every tie in short, regular and long so you always look your best no matter your height. Thanks and stay tuned for more videos on how to tie tie knots and other things related to men's clothing.